going to tie a, it's a sort of a snail, I suppose it would do either sea trout or salmon. Uh, so I'm using a metal tube here, silver metal. And the idea is to get the, I'm only going to sort of tie from about halfway ish on it because I want the hook to be fairly well back in the uh, in the tail to deal with uh, short takers. So we're going to wrap silver hollow braid here from what two thirds or so away along the tube. I'm going to put a bit of super glue on. make a, a silver section which sort of occupies the middle third of the tube. So for the tail I'm going to use black runner, you could use black bucktail or bear or whatever. And take the bunch, hold it by the tips and get the very short stuff out. And then I'm going to allow that to splay all around the tube. Okay, happy enough. And then wind over those bits there. So, now I'm going to take a bit of uh, Peacock Crinkle Mirage. Tie that on and two strands, pull it underneath. I'm just going to separate it out and then trim that off. Not full length of the of the hair. And it'll give a sort of just a little accent of flash in the tail. So Next we're going to build up a little bit of a front body and I'm going to use a holographic silver uh, sort of light bright dubbin and I'm just going to again super glue over the uh, front section where this is going to lay and then we can dub this on as a fairly loose, loosely wound ball and that will give us a little bit of bulk there at the front. This is a fairly simple fly. Not a lot of materials to it. So for the front, we're going to use like a Kingfisher Blue soft tackle. I'm going to double that over. Add it in there by its tip. Fold it back and then wind that on. You see I'm stroking the hackle as I wind it on and that'll get it to lay back. Nice and neat as I like it. So, front hackle, what I'm going to use is a teal. So, this tends to misbehave itself, so what uh, you need to do is strip off the leading edge. So this front portion here, which is still, uh, they're quite straight, these fibres. They will do as you want, but the, once you get into the curve at the back, uh, the leading edge ones would have just went all over the place. So tie it in by its tip, fold it back, and then I'll get on the haggle pliers, and we will wrap that on because teal is such a short stocked. Feather, you're only going to get one, one and a half turns probably of it. And that essentially is our fly tight. We'll just do the head. So I'm going to super glue, say, 10 centimeters of our tie in thread and wrap into that. It'll create a ball of glue.
trying to sensor that our fly tight. You just need to do the head. So because we use black tie-in thread, we can just use uh, clear varnish. And we'll do that, let it dry, and then put on a couple of coats. So as you can see, the back of the tube is here. So that will allow us to put on our single treble, whatever you're doing, and it'll be fairly far back into the uh, into the tail of the fly for fish that should want to take short. So, as usual, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. There should be a button over here now, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. In the meantime, tight lines.